All right, so this is a pretty common problem to have in that your cache has gotten full and you've noticed this either because your computer's running absolutely like dirt when it's normally not that bad or because Lightroom started to throw an error at you telling you that. That's probably why you're here. So we're gonna walk through a few steps to uh, fix that today. Um, we're actually gonna show you how to purge several uh, forms of cache uh, and then also how to prevent this from continuing to happen in the future. So follow along. Uh, we'll make this really, really simple and straightforward. All right, so let's get right into this. This is a pretty common problem to have. So what we're going to do is we're going to first open up uh, Lightroom and we're going to go through a few steps. The first step is going to be that we're just simply going to optimize our catalog. Uh, this is something we should actually do frequently because your catalog is constantly being written to uh, while you're working. Uh, and over time, it starts to develop what we call spaghetti code, where it just uh, is going through a lot of steps to do something simple. Uh, and this is a way that uh, Adobe has put in just to clean it up naturally. So you just click, come up here to file. Uh, you come down here to optimize catalog uh, and you click that and then you can just hit optimize. Uh, that will go through that and then it will restart Lightroom. That's step one. That can fix a lot of errors uh, for you guys. Okay, so now that that's started, we're going to edit a lot of our raw cache. So in order to do that, um, I'm doing this on a Windows PC. If you're doing this on a Mac, all you're going to do is change. Every time I say the edit uh, menu here, you're going to hit the Lightroom menu. Uh, other than that, it runs exactly the same. So I hit edit. I'm going to come down here to preferences. Uh, and then when that opens up, I'm going to come over here to performance. So this performance tab right here. I'm going to come down here. This is camera raw cache settings. Come over here and hit purge cache. Okay. Then I'm going to go down to video cache settings and I'm going to hit purge cache. Okay. Once it's done with those, then it's going to take, it takes a few minutes. It'll give you a little dialogue. When that's done, you're just going to hit okay. And you're going to close that up. Okay. That's step two. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delete our previews file. So this is uh, basically a big file that any, anything that's in your catalog, it's all those thumbnails that you have. It's recordings of all those thumbnails across the board. So we're going to get rid of those. The only difference you're going to notice then is if you reload a, a prior uh, uh, session, it's going to have to reload those thumbnails. But that probably won't matter to you uh, on old sessions, and this should fix the problem. So we're going to come up here to edit. Uh, again, uh, for those of you on a Mac, you're just going to hit Lightroom. Uh, you're going to go down here to catalog settings. And what we're first doing is we're going to find where is our catalog stored. So if you are following our other videos, uh, it's probably right here in uh, your system drive under Lightroom catalogs. Uh, but you're going to hit, there's the show button right over here. So this will either be show and finder. I found a Mac, show and file explorer. But we're going to click that. Okay. And that's going to take us directly to wherever our catalog is. Now it's key that you then close Lightroom because you can't delete this file while Lightroom is open. So I, I named this catalog catalog for cache video for obvious reasons, uh, but you're just going to have the catalog that you're currently working in. Uh, you're going to open that up and there's going to be a file in here that has the name of your catalog to start. Then it's going to have previews.lr data. Okay. And this is the file we're going to delete. Don't get scared here. It's just a different interface. All I do is right click or uh, control click if you're on a Mac. Uh, I go down to delete and I delete that. Okay. And what that does is that just clears out all of the cache from all those little thumbnails. Now I close, reopen Lightroom and the problem should be solved. Okay, so let's do a little bit of preventative maintenance so we're not continuing to have this problem in the future. If you're always running in, into this problem, it's probably because either you don't have enough RAM, you don't have enough hard drive space, uh, you probably need to call us about a new computer bill. But uh, if you're just having this happen every once in a while, uh, then some thing, or you're on a system that you know is not the best, and but it's not in your budget to upgrade right now, there's a few things we can do so that this isn't always going to happen to us. So go up to Edit or Lightroom if you're in Mac. We go down here to catalog settings, and then we come over here to file handling. Okay, so we're going to open the file handling tab. Now, there's a few things that we can do here in order to make this better for us. So number one is whenever we create a new catalog, it's going to default to this, and we should probably change this every time you create a new catalog. 
where it says automatically discard one-to-one -one previews. Okay, one-to-one -one previews uh, take up a lot of space. And when you have a lot of them, uh, the, it can actually really start to build up a considerable amount of uh, data size uh, for your computer to have to handle. So we just lower this. So you can lower this down to one week. You could lower it to one day. Um, you're not going to notice a big difference because the low res thumbnails are still going to be there. It's just the high res thumbnails uh, that it's going to get rid of. Unless you need to go back and work on a considerably older um, piece of work, you should be good here. So go ahead and change that to after one week. The other thing that we can do is we can change our standard preview size down to smaller amounts, right? So this one is auto to 1920. We can go down in pixel size. Or if we had a lot of overhead, we could go up and pixel size, but that's probably not why you're watching this video. Um, and also we could set our preview quality down to low. All that's going to do is make those preview files be much, much smaller so that you're not running into this problem as often. But I think the first thing to do is just change to after one week. Um, and then if you're continuing to have the problems, consider lowering the preview quality and consider lowering the standard preview size. So you just hit that, hit OK. And that's pretty much uh, going to really help you not keep running into this problem in the future. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, or if anything was unclear, or you want to uh, talk through this, uh, get a hold of us uh, directly. You can get us easily through Instagram. Uh, you can follow us on YouTube for more information. Uh, thank you very much, and we hope it helped.